Hi guys, this is Chip in your Joel Cibulo, Life of a Seafarer. In this video, we will show you how non-destructive testing is being done. There's a lot of methods for NDT, but we will show you the magnetic particle testing. We will do the test on our ship's tail shop. Non-destructive testing, NDT, is the testing and analysis technique used by industry to evaluate the properties of the materials, component, structure, or system for characteristic difference or welding defects and discontinuous without causing damage to the original part. NDT also known as non-destructive examination NDE, non-destructive inspection NDI, and non-destructive evaluation NDE. Methods of non-destructive testing Number 1. Electromagnetic testing Number 2. Ground penetrating radar testing Number 3. Acoustic emission testing Number 4. Laser testing methods Number 5 Leak testing Number 6 Magnetic flux leakage Number 7 Liquid penetrant testing 8 Magnetic particle testing Newton radiographic testing 9 10 radiographic testing 11 Thermal infrared testing 12 Ultrasonic testing 13 Pulse echo inspections and Time of flight diffractions other methods include immersion testing, air coupled testing, electromagnetic acoustic transducer testing, guided wave testing, advanced ultrasonic methods testing, phase array ultrasonic testing, pool matrix capture testing, virtual source aperture testing, vibration analysis testing, visual testing, we will be showing you the magnetic particle testing being done by the, the dry dock personnel. As you can see, the shipyard personnel are now cleaning the tail shop for the preparation of the MPT test. Magnetic particle testing, also known referred as to as magnetic particle inspection, is non-destructive examination, technique used to detect surface and slightly sub-surface flow in most ferromagnetic materials such as iron, nickel, and cobalt, and some of their alloys, because it does not necessitate the degree of surface preparation required by other non-destructive test methods conducting. MPT is relatively fast and easy. This has made it one of the more commonly utilized NDE techniques. MPT is a fairly simple process with two variations, wet magnetic particle testing and dry magnetic particle testing. In either one, the process begins by running a magnetic current through the component. Any cracks or defects in the material will interrupt the flow of current and will cause magnetism to spread out from them. This will create a flux leakage field at the site of the damage. The second step involves spreading metal particles over the component. If there are any flow on the near surface, the flux leakage field will draw the particles to the damage site. This provides a visible indication of the approximate size and shape of the flow. There are several benefits of MPT compared to other NDE methods. It is highly portable, generally inexpensive, and does not need a stringent pre-cleaning operation. MPT also one of the best options for detecting fine shallow surface crack. It is fast, easy, and well worked through thin coating. Finally, there is a few limitations regarding the size shape of these specimens. Despite its strength, the method is not without its limit. The material must be ferromagnetic. Likewise, the orientation and strength of the magnetic field is critical. The method only detects surface and near-to-surface defects. Thus, further down require alternative methods. Large currents are sometimes required to perform this method, thus burning of test parts is sometimes possible. In addition, once MPT has been completed, the component must be demagnetized, which can sometimes be difficult.
The surface should be cleaned properly, then the yoke will apply the cross perpendicular to the surface being tested and switch on. This will induce the magnetic field that travels directly from the two pole of the yoke. Next, the magnetic particle suspended and the liquid will apply to the surface, and the surface between pole can be examined immediately. The magnetic particle will line up if there is any surface crack. The next step is switch off the yoke and move it to 90 degrees and apply the field and the magnetic particles again. Since the magnetic field is traveling along the surface, any surface, indi surface indication transverse of the crack now can be detected. Now you can see here is the basic two-step process for how inspector to both the wet and the dry method of magnetic test is being done. First, magnetize the object. As you can see, they run a magnetic current through the material. If defects are present, they will create a secondary magnetic field or flux leakage field. Then, the second one is spread metal particles on the object by spreading the, the spray with the particle, uh, metal particle spread metal particle over the materials or object in the form of powder or liquid now we're using liquid the secondary field will attract these particulars these particles to the location of the defects allowing them to be made visible so if there's any surface defects or cracks you can see it easily although the basic of the process are fairly straightforward there are several considerations to how each step is pro performed Test is already done and we found out there's no defects on our ship's tail shop and all uh, witnessed by the chief engineer so I'll be signing all the documents. Final step is being carried out by cleaning all the surface uh, of the main tail shops before the installation of our propeller. <laughs> 